we picked up the new Mini Cooper Electric SE 2022 LCI version. So you can see that it hasn't got any mud flap. And I did some research online and found the original um, F56 version will fit. So I'm going to show you how. I'm going to install two first and then once I turn around to the other side, I will show you the process. And these are the two that I picked through Mini official website. I'll link it down below so that you guys can buy them. I have installed the rear flap as you can see. It fits very, very well. These clips are a bugger to install, but I will I'll figure out a quick way to do it and I'll show you later on. And you can see this is the front. This is significantly easier. I'll show you later on, but basically you turn the wheel and then there's two self-tapered screws that you need to screw in. The tools that you need is on the screen right now. The first one is the 8mm hex bit on Ratchet Driver. Um, it's not focused because of the camera, apologies for that. The second one is a stubby Torx. It's T8 or T9, I can't remember, but a Phillips head screwdriver will do. The third one is marking pin, a flat head screwdriver. The mini pry bar is optional. So I start up by cleaning the surrounding using the cloth to make sure it's clean before application. And then I take the mud flap and put it in place like that, just so that I could get the right fixing because there are two screws at the bottom. And you only need to remove one so you do not want to remove the wrong one. Then I proceed on to removing the other screw which is under the wheel archway by using the same drill bit. After that, I just remove the double-sided sticker and apply the whole mud flap to the archway as you can see. Next, I just install the screw at the bottom of the car as you can see. The trick here is not to tighten it too much. This is because during the installation of the clips, you might want to wiggle the mud flap a little bit just so that the gap closes. So hand tighten for the time being. In actual fact, once the two screws are installed, the flap is actually quite secure as you can see. In the packaging, there's this foam with double-sided tape as you can see. After installing this, I don't think it's necessary, but during that time, I thought I'll just install it since it comes with the packaging. The following is how I install it. Again, I don't think it's necessary. The hardest part for this installation is actually putting these clips in, so I've discovered a way you could loosen it up. So the trick is self-explanatory, but basically I just use like a hammer, put the opening, the pins at the brick as you can see there and slowly tap them. That way the opening of the gap is bigger and it allows me to insert the pins a lot easier. You could just about see the one on the right has slightly bigger opening. Next, I just bring the clips and start the installation. I guess it's easier if you can remove the wheel because you've got more room to work with. But as you can see, I don't really need them. Once the pin is widened and I can just push them in and then use the stubby 
flathead screwdriver to push them in. Up next is the installation of the front mud flap. So what I did was use the um, mud flap, put it in place to make sure I have the right screw to be removed and then use the 8mm hex bit on the ratchet driver to remove the correct screw. Once the screw was removed, I just installed the front mud flap directly onto it, of course with the double sided tape removed. So as you can see, it just held in place. After that, I just hand tightened the screw back in place. This is because during installation, you might have to wiggle the mud flaps a little bit more. So just leave it hand tightened. Up next, I just use the widened clips to start the installation process. Um, I must apologize for the quality of it or the exposure because it's on automatic and you can't really see it. But because of the rooms available, it's actually quite easy to install. You just clip it in and then use a lever to push the pin in. It's really very easy compared to the one on the rear. So the first one is in and I'm going to install the second one. And just like that, I've installed all three very quickly because of the room available. Once those pins are in, I just tighten the bottom screw using the ratchet driver as you can see. And actually it's very, very secure, but since the instruction recommends like you know the two self-tapping screw to be screwed in so I will install them as well and I'm going to show you how to do it so it would be really easy if you have the marking pin as you can see there just poke the marking pin into the hole and make a dent once there is a hole it's actually quite easy to install the self-tapping screws into the small hole. I have a torque screw bit on a stubby handle that I 3D printed myself. So it's easier to work when the room is quite limited in there, as you can see. The first screw is done. As you can see, so I'm going to proceed on to installing the second screw. But in order to do so, you could turn the wheel to the opposite di direction or the extreme end of opposite direction so that you can put your hands through. And you can see there. That way you get more room in this archway to install the other screw. You can now see that there is 
more space after you turn the wheel to the other side. Again, just repeat the same process as before. Use the marking pin, push the marking pin through the screw hole to make a, a small hole and then just use the self-tapping screw to screw it in. And this concludes the whole process of the mud flap installation on the electric mini. It took me quite a while but hope you find this useful and it would really help me out if you can like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Bye.